Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kumi Trent. Today we're gonna to make this really cute watercolor deer um, that you could use for a gift, a Christmas card, or whatever you feel like. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first I'm gonna show you how to draw the deer. As always, I, I try and show you how to draw things before we paint them because obviously that helps. Um, we're just gonna take a basic curved line at the top of his head. The curve V for his ears, or she, you want to call it. You want to connect them, bring it down like that. This is just, this is just rough, but and this will be the nose, so the eyes will be over here. And then body, it's just simple, bringing these two lines down for the scarf, put it under here. You might want to go over here like that. And then the, the, the scarf hanging down that way. And if you want to add little eyelashes when you paint it, you know. Like so. This is very simple. Okay, so I drew my deer on this 100% um, cotton um, arches cold press paper. And I drew a little scarf and hat. And I'm gonna use my Grumbacher number 10 brush and we're gonna fill her in. I mixed up some, uh, let me pull this out so you can see. This is raw umber, this is burnt umber. I mixed burnt umber with some of this medium yellow Got this tone right here. If you don't like this color, you can make it redder or browner or whatever makes more sense for you. Um, but you know, in this basically brown tones. Gonna get it fairly loose on my brush. And we're gonna fill in the deer. Let's pull this up. There we go. So it's wet, not super wet. We're just gonna fill in the ears, leaving the middle on the head. We're going to keep the eyes white because we'll need the white part of the paper for the highlight. Um, if you don't want, if you mess up and you don't have that, same thing with the nose, I might use some of the nose paper of the highlight. You could just go in and use some um, gouache. So we're going to get this wet now and fill this in. So I got that wet and fill it in. So it's feeling light, adding some water. To get it fairly loose. Moving it around. Once it's fairly loose like this, you can go in and add some deeper tones if you like. Just dab it and watch it bleed. Play around with it. Um, this is probably like my five million deer I've painted. <laughs> some I make them lighter, some I make them darker. Sometimes I leave them white over here. You know, this is not super realistic, so it doesn't have to look that way. I'm adding some deeper tones. I can add some, while well, it's still wet, some paints gray up in here. Just dabbing it in here. Just giving it some more richness. Same thing I'm going to do here over the ears. Just moving around fairly quickly, playing around the eyes, dabbing on the paper towel. If they feel like the paint is too wet, too loose, I just dab the paper towel, come back and use my paintbrush as a mop, kind of. So it's a little darker than I wanted, so I'm going to clean off my brush and mop it up. As you can see. I still like the dark part on the ears. And I'm going to go in and do the bottom part now. Not touching the scarf. This could be fairly quick. I'm just go in and fill that in, adding some water. And then again, touching it with the dark part of the more concentrated part of the raw umber, I'm sorry, burnt umber. Maybe a little paint, teeny bit on my tip of the brush, paints gray. Gives it that deep, rich tone you see. Nice, huh? Uh, it's a little glary. I'm waiting for my light bulb to come in. These special ordered bulbs. I have one lamp 
that works and one doesn't and so there's no point in me using it it's just going to make a shadow even worse okay that's why i try and do my videos during the day but it doesn't always work out that way so this is kind of still wet i don't want to go and start to do the scarf well it's still wet. well we could try and do that we're going to make the scarf it's starting to dry so we can still work on the scarf we're going to do a plaid scarf and this guy is going to have multiple colors so you might want to use an ultramarine dabbing it oh see blood just gonna be careful ultramarine I'm going to grab some alizarin crimson, fairly loose, dabbing it on paper towel. Now see, see it's a little wet, so what, actually I think I'm going to dry the reindeer and come back. So he's dry, I'm going to pull up his scarf a little tighter so you can see. See I made a couple of lines there, we're going to go in and grab some red. Double line it next to the blue. I'm gonna try and make it kind of like a tartan plaid. Double line it. Fill it in there. And we're gonna grab yellow. Right in the middle. I'm gonna go in and grab some black. Well, paint's gray. If it bleeds, it's okay. Gonna make it black here. Trying to make it like a tart. It's not that easy. <laughs> You're building. The red could go a little deeper, so I'm adding that. That looked too pink. And we have to kind of crisscross it. So we did lines. It looked like lines right now. We have to go back in and add the red. So it's starting to look like a plaid. Doesn't have to be perfect. You can add some green. Give it that Christmassy look. And if it bleeds into it, that's kind of cool. It's kind of like how the plaid should be. Play around with the colors. Grab some of the darker green. So you get the idea. Cute, isn't it? The little plaid scarf. <laughs> Grab some of that paint gray again. Needs to be a little darker. Okay, while we're here, we'll do a close up of the eyes. I'm going to use my small brush for this, the Grumbacker number two. If you don't have black, you have paints gray, that's what I'm working with today. We're just going to do the eyelash, the eye, not the eyelash, the eyelid then for the eye just want to have a little white halo under that eyelid if you can if you can't no problem and then you're going to leave a little white dot here 
Look at that. She is alive. And grab some, make some lashes on the end. Because she's cute. <laughs> and she's got a nose that's missing. So, do the nostrils and a little halo up here. We'll fill it in. And then she's got a cute nose. Look how cute she is. And then we're going to fill in the ears. We're going to take the big brush again. Wash down of the original color. And fill it in. You can add a little pink if you want. Because, you know, ears. Animal ears, a little pink. See, you can add a little pink in there. Because if it's going to be a girl, she's going to have some pink in there. You can fill that in. And then we'll do the hat. We'll make it more of a knitted cap. And um, I think I'll keep it reddish. Elizabeth Crimson color. Yes. All right. So we're going to fill that in. fill in this part I think I'm gonna leave a little white halo next to the brim so that's you can now this, this is another trick you can leave the halo next like the part you're gonna paint it next to if you are limited on time and you don't have time to dry and you want to keep continuing painting because you know that's going to be a darker area and you know it's going to go on top of it just leave that little halo, work in all the other areas, and then you can go back in and put the darker color on top. That's just another trick and tip I can tell you about. So that's still wet in the brim. You can grab some of the paint that's darker. I take some Elizabeth Crimson. I can add a little bit of indigo, a touch of the hooker's green. It's gonna have like a purplish tint to it, but when you add the green, it gives it more brown. And if it's still not wet enough to bleed, which one actually dried pretty fast. So I'm going to go back and get some water on that brush. And then I'll bleed it next to it. On the bottom too. And you go around here. It should bleed into it. If not, you can just bring some more paint in there. Take some water and move around. Now, remember that rim? The white halo? Grab that deep red. Make sure it's more concentrated. It's not super loose wet. You want to add that. Let's see, I'm making green with the red. So it's more concentrated. Now you can go back in and touch in. And it shouldn't really bleed. If it does, well, we'll fix it. You see what I'm saying? There's a little glare. But you get the point, right? And you can push it up into the hat. Just little brush strokes pushing it up. That might be a little too dark. So you can go in, wash off your brush, take some of it out. Same thing with this area here. Use your brush as a mop. Take some of the paint out here, like a mop. Who knew your watercolor brush was a mop? <laughs> and we'll add his little, his, her, it's a girl. She's got the lashes. We're gonna add her little pom-pom. I'm gonna do a green one. 
just simple strokes. Simple strokes for simple folks. Yeah, I'm a little silly. It's Saturday. Adding some of the dark green towards the middle. Maybe a little towards the tips too. See that? Gives a little dimension. Um, well, this is still drying. The ears, you want to put some little marks, brush strokes for fur. Same thing over here. Just gives it a little more oomph. And I might want to add in a little more, some deeper color inside the air a little bit right in here. Put too much in there, so I'm going to water it down and go like so. We're just building. Now on the brim, we're going to dry this guy. Actually, we don't have to dry it. We're going to do the outside. So the outside, I'm taking my big brush. You can leave it like this, which is really cute. Or you could add the sky. I'm gonna do some indigo. And really water that sucker down. <laughs> I'm gonna add the sky. Just moving the indigo all around. Careful not touching. You can leave a white halo around your little deer. Be very, very careful not to touch it. But filling in the paper. Very careful. If you don't have much control over a big brush, trying to fill it in, then use a smaller brush. It will take you longer. The bigger brush is better for the filling because the smaller brush is it's going to take you a lot longer, number one. Number two, I'm just going to move this around here. Um, you might end up with like little teeny brush strokes. It just fills in faster with the bigger brush. Just take your time on the edges, hitting the reindeer. So we're gonna fill this in. Like so. Try and get as close to it as you can without wrecking it. Especially because it's wet. But if there's a nice white halo around it, that's fine. And still looks, looks super cute. Look at that. She looks cute. You can add some darker tones towards the top if you want. Play around the sky. You want to do that. Watch all the edges. Now that it's wet. Now it's a little too dark, so I'm going to take some of that out with water. I'll move it around. That's what I do. We'll move it around. Gotta work fast though. So while we're working fast with this, that's just about done. Let's go get the hat. Um, taking super dark concentrated lizard crimson again with some hooker's green because you know it's a opposite color complementary color it gives it a deeper color and we're going to do those two little 
knitted lines like so and on the brim we could add the little teeny white bees with our gouache get a tiny brush get them like faint this time you don't want it so predominant work really quickly I've shown this so many times in every tutorial so the snowman one I show that kind of cute so we're gonna let the sky dry come back and put some snow grabbing my gouache I just have a one to new gouache um, you're just doing like a plain color you don't need to have anything real expensive you can get a cheap gouache um, I don't recommend more expensive gouache when you're just using black or white. That's just not great. That's just crazy. And just make little dots for snow. Big ones, little ones. I don't want to do the the effect like the two pressure effect on this because I want more control and I don't want the dots on the reindeer just want them on the sky part so if you do the other thing you just don't have control so I prefer to put them in myself it doesn't take that long it's kind of like a little art therapy while you're doing it you could be watching a show and just putting in the dots listening to your favorite music We have snow on the ground here. I like it for like Christmas and then I like it gone. And unfortunately, <laughs> where I live, it's not gone till probably April. But that's how it goes. When you live in the Northeast of the United States. Okay. I think we're snowed out. That's okay. I'm gonna make some more blotches like that so it doesn't look like I made a mistake. See what I'm saying? Get some big ones, little ones, plop them in there. And there you go. Isn't that cute? This is pretty simple, easy. And you have a really cute deer that you can give as a gift or put it as a card or just pick it for yourself. So I hope you enjoyed this, this tutorial today. And if so, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for stopping by and I hope you guys have a fantastic day.